Morgan ahead of the field. Morgan with touch. Morgan! Oh, it's an equalizer! The New York, New Jersey toughness mentality. She was very happy to see them battle back in that Portland game and see if they could use it as a springboard into the regular season. Deadlocked at zero is a half an hour in. That could change in an instant when Purse is on it, and she does change it. The first goal of the regular season for Gotham FC belongs to Mitch Purse. The great vision in the box. Freya Coombe loves her decision making, her ability to spot out the pass or know when she should just put her head down and shoot. This time she chooses the latter option and she gets the goal. She created herself half of a window there that was barely there, just a little bit of deception. For Orlando, they only played four matches in 2020 and all four were friendlies back in the fall. So you know they were chomping at the bit to get back out here, especially after they're showing in the Challenge Cup. Here's Sanchez to the far side, Houston. Houston's cross, and scores! Perfection for the spirit! And Washington leads 1-0. Just bending this ball in, and Ashley Hatch just rises above and puts that away with power. Hatch, the second half sub, beat Krieger to the spot. A beautiful ball from Houston. It's going to be important to see how Washington Spirit deal with this if they. Morgan ahead of the field. Morgan with touch. Morgan! Oh, it's an equalizer! Her first goal since 2018 has equalized it in the 84th minute for Orlando. And that's how quickly the Orlando Pride can break. A great run here by Alex Morgan, and what a nice touch as Bledsoe comes out. And an effort to save it there <laughs> on the line. Valiant effort, but just couldn't quite get there. A short ball played. Smith checking two. Back to Klingenberg, Smith. Lefty service, deflected, but not out of the woods of the Red Stars. Another service into the back half and in! It found the corner of the net! Sophia Smith just coming across this 2v1 opportunity and then having the confidence saying, you know what? I'm gonna put this one into the back of the net. It's precision. Yes, there's a little bit of power behind it, but it's the precision. And then who's gonna step up? Christine Sinclair, can she do it? Canadian International, calm, cool, collected. Right by Alyssa Nair. And it's 2-0, Portland. And Christine Sinclair, she's never missing from the spot. I mean, this is why she is one of the world's best. The leading goal scorer for both male and female internationally. Makes no mistake here. Colaprico, back post. Is this the moment for Chicago? Look at AD. French, sprawling like a cat to get that one and then just blasts it up ahead. Portland again on the counter. Smith, once more, twice as nice, Sophia Smith. And it's 3-0, it's all Portland in the first half. First thought, can I play forward? Can I find my front runner? She does just that. I mean, this is an absolutely world-class ball. And then just the brilliance of the interplay up top with Weaver and Smith. Branch has been with Portland since 2016. Strong boot into that one. Haran wins the ball in the air. Weaver flicks it through. Flack stays down. It's Smith again. She's done it one more time. Sophia Smith, have yourself a half. She is going to be pushing and fighting for that U.S. women's national team spot. Now, if she keeps this up to the Olympics, surely she will get a spot on that team and then fighting for a starting 11 spot. Dunn slips it ahead to Sinclair. Sinclair to her left. One thing left to do. Clipped ahead, and Lucy's got it. It's a five-piece for Portland at Providence Park today. Just brilliant again from Crystal Dunn. The vision and awareness just to slot this one through the defenders. And then Christine Sinclair undressing her defender, cutting this one back again. Takes it, does take a lucky bounce, puts this one on target, and it's Lucy. Lucy coming off the bench, putting this one home, and putting Portland up yet another goal. 